Hello, welcome. In the previous video, we have learned how we can use write file operation to generate file in OIC. And with the help of a notification, we can send same file over email. But there were one issue. We, we, we don't have header, header data in that file. We have only the data in CSV file. So now in this video, we will use append operation, append active, append option to generate file with header. So how we can do? Let's begin. So here you can see this is the integration we created in previous video where we are passing the data and whatever data we are passing, suppose in this time I am going to pass only two records. So whatever data we are passing, it will consume the data, create the file and same file it will send over the email. But this file doesn't have the header details. So here now if you will see in the email, here I receive an email. And the email you can see we have two record but record doesn't have the header value two record doesn't have the header value so how we can achieve for achieving this let me first explain the issue so friend you can see this is the simple file this is our file and what we are going to do is that in a previous video what we have done whatever data we are receiving from request payload we created one file and all the data we directly we directly added in the file we haven't added the header that's the reason we don't have header values. So now what we will do in this video, we will first create one file with header data. This is the header value. We will create one file here. And once this file will create it with this header data, then we will create another file with the same name on the same location with append option. So that what it will do, it will not create another new file. It will find the same file present over system. And whatever data we will provide there, the same data it will merge in the file. So that kind of things we are going to implement. So let's begin to the integration part. So here, let me show you the first that previous integration. If you will see this integration, in the integration, we directly added rest endpoint to get the request payload as data. And whatever data we get, we added in the uh, stage file so that we can create the file and we send the file but we didn't provide any header details. So how we can provide the header details? So what we will do? We will first create one file with header data. Then we will create another file with the actual data and we will merge both with the help of append operation. So let's begin. So again, I will move to creating new integration by giving the name XX stage request file with append 01 and now we have to configure the rest endpoint so that we can configure request and the response so i will do a little bit fast next here we have to provide the uri so i will put write file with append provide get as post method so that we can configure request and the response payload Next here we have to provide the request payload. I will select JSON and the request payload I have already created. So I will copy this request payload. I will provide this request payload here. Now we have to configure the response payload. So again in the response section, we will provide the response payload by selecting the JSON as we have the response payload structure as JSON. I will copy this one. And now here I will provide the response payload, select OK and next and done. So we successfully added the rest endpoint to configure request and response payload. Now we have to first create the empty file with header data only. That kind of data, right? File. So how we will do? For let me add the stage file activity again. Here we will give the name write header underscore stage next as we are going to create file that's why we will select write file operation we have to provide the name so i will use the name again for same name same name like concat emploidai employee data underscore we have to concatenate the date so here first we need to convert date into a string so i will use a string function So now we have to provide the date. So here we have current date. 
but if you will see this current date is returning date with z so we can remove that z by using substring but right now i don't want to remove so let it be now we have to add dot csv so we are done with the file name i will copy this file name so that in next stage i can use that one right so here i am going to use the copy name and directory i will use same as temp And right now we don't use append because we are going to first create the file when next time we will create same file with same name on the same location. Sorry, same location then only or the time we, we, we need to use that append op option. So hey, let me copy the path so that same path can be there in the next time next. We have to configure the file. We need to provide the file structure. So I will select CSV only. We need to upload the file structure. So I have already created the sample file. Next, you can see in the sample file, we have all the columns. Now next, we have to provide a record as R, record set as RS. Next, done. So here we added the successfully added the file, which will having the, which will having the only header so here we have to provide header in the mapping only so let me add the mapping in the rs mapping here we have to provide the mapping in mapping we have to provide hard coded value as header is also a value so here i will use name same dob dob friend if you have any other queries you can make, you can make a comment on that you can ask us We'll try to reach you and try to solve your queries. Domain. Here address. Contact. And that creation date. And the last created one. So this hard coded value we are going to provide so that we can create file with the same value. Done. So we created one file with this value, this mapping, whatever mapping we are providing file will be created with the same mapping only, right? So I'm going to go back and now you can see we created one file with the hard coded value as a header value. And after that, we need to create another file to add the data. So before going to create another file, what I will do, I will send this file over email so that you can observe, you can see the changes. So I will add a notification to send file over email to, I will write my email. Again from it will be no reply at oracle.com. Subject I will provide as employee data file with header and body high team. Please find it as employee data file with header. Header regards. OIC support team, you can use whatever you want. And now we have to provide the file reference in the attachment. So just click here, file reference we will get from right header response. So here this is right header stage. Click here, you can see right response. Inside that we will have ICS file, inside that we will have file reference. So just map this file reference here. So we are done with notification. We can even change the notification name and point names. I will use send email underscore notification we are done with that just click outside so we know that whenever we are creating any integration we are getting one error because of business identifier so we'll add one business identifier is tracking variable here so just save you can see we don't have any error now it's ready to run but we in mapping we have to provide the mapping so that in uh, integration response we can send the data so here you can see in response wrapper we have the file name we can get the file name from right header response inside the ics file we have properties and inside the properties we have file name 
नाइफ हेयर स्टेटस विल बी स्टेटस विल बी फाइल क्रिएटेड एंड सेंड ओवर ईमेल नाउ डन सेव वैलिडेट एंड गो बैक सो आवर इंटीग्रेशन इज रेडी फॉर एक्टिवेट एज वी वी डोंट हैव एनी एरर इन इंटीग्रेशन एंड एवरीथिंग इज कॉन्फिगर्ड सो मूव बैक फर्स्ट एक्टिवेट दिस इंटीग्रेशन एंड वंस इंटीग्रेशन एक्टिवेटेड वी विल बी एबल टू रन द इंटीग्रेशन सो हेयर लेट मी मूव टू द रन पार्ट एंड वंस वी विल रन द इंटीग्रेशन सो दिस इज डेटा आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू चेंज एनी थिंग सेम डेटा आई विल पास done so once integration completed we will get a response you can see we got the response and we will get a file over email so let me check the email so here you can see we get the email as 819 right now it's 819 click here and here you can see we have data file with the same date and in the data file if you will see we have only header we have only header we don't have data because we didn't map or we didn't provide any data in this file so now you can see how we are creating file with the header now we have to create another file with data and that file will be merged with this file only so how we can use this merge operation so we will see here in this integration so i will deactivate this integration even we can achieve these things without even adding this twice the stage file but i will show you that one also so now here here we have created a file with header now we have to create another file another file with the data so i will provide the endpoint name as write data underscore stage next same thing we will follow right so we will select write operation to create the file so here this is the main point here we cannot provide any different name any other name if we will change give different name two different file will be created if we will provide the same name and the same location then what it will do it will merge the file with the previous file that's why i have already created a copy of the i have make a note of that one this one right so i will use this one here so here it will create file with same name and here in the value we will provide the same directory so that it can create and now this is the main point so as we are going to merge this file with previous file as we provided the same file name and directory that's why we need to select append here this is the main term once you will select append it will it will not create a new file it will create it will merge the this file into the previous file as we provided the same name and the same directory go next as we have we are going to provide the structures that's why we selected yes and csv file and here we have to draw select the sample file so now again we will select r for record r is for record set i don't want to do ch any changes here next and done so we successfully able to add another endpoint so here we are getting error let me show you why we are getting error because of this invalid expression so instead of pasting or providing the previous one i will use new right i will add right again so here if you will see what we can do here i will use again the same so i will use concat i will copy the name only hard coded value only comma again we have to use the string so that we can convert the date so this is the string function that is going to convert date data type into a string and we need to provide current date so this is the current date here and now we have to add that csv format dot csv now we are done with the file name you can see this is the same file name we are having here we don't have any changes here oh it's it's removed let me add again now i provided the same value as previous you can see employee data underscore string current date dot csv the same we have here employee data underscore string current date dot csv so now done provided the same path next 
we have to provide the file and we have already provided that one everything is done just done so here you can see that error is removed now now here we have to map the data for this file so we will map this data from the request payload so once we will expand the request payload you can see we all have all the data expand this one and we will map this array with this array this name with this name this dob with this dob and this domain with this domain and this contact with this contact and this address with this address validate and here we have to provide the date so date i will choose current date and get the function here this current date function and in created by i will use integration metadata runtime invoked by will be the created by so now we are done with the mapping validate and move back so here we successfully created integration where we added all this point add the first stage to create header file the file with header data created another stage with the data and both will be merged because we selected the append operation and now we added the notification to send over the email as both file are same that's why we don't require to change the file reference and this is the mapping for integration response now save go back activate the integration so activate this integration from here only and now it will take a little bit of time to activate activate it now run the integration sorry run the integration in body we have three records so that's fine click on run so it will create file and send our email you can see we got successful message and let me move to the email so here you can see we receive an email yet 826 826 once you will click here in the last here you can see this message received zero minute ago and the message having the same message and once you will click here you can see the file with header you can see this is the header and this is the file so this is the way we can create file with header details thank you so much for watching if you have any other queries and you want to ask anything don't hesitate to ask you can write comment on that thank you so much for watching thank you so much